It was five seasons ago here at Lucas Oil Stadium that Willie Sneed's Ball State career began with a victory over Indiana. Well, things came full circle Sunday as the Saints rookie returned here to Indianapolis, this time picking up a victory over the Colts. It was a great experience just being here again. Uh, I didn't really get to play my first game here because I had dislocated my shoulder and everything, but uh, you know, it was really good just to be back in the building, uh, seeing all the Burt, Ball State fans and everything. It was, it was really exciting. It has hit me a little bit. You know, I'm starting to settle down more, but I, I'm growing every day. Every every week I'm growing, and, you know, I just have to make sure I'm consistent and just doing the right thing every every week. So people start to know your name a little more. The hair is, you know, very obvious to people in New Orleans. So uh, I get jumped a few times that people want to take pictures and autographs and stuff. But it's it's all fun. You know, I, I, I try to make fun of I try to make fun about it. And, uh, you know, I just try to, you know, show the fans that I care. Willie's story is an excellent example of perseverance. A year ago, he was with the Browns, Panthers and then out of a job. But on Sunday, he was in the opening tease for the Fox broadcast, highlighted opposite Colts Pro Bowler Robert Mathis. I mean, no, no route is easy, you know, especially coming from a small school like Ball State. You know, you really have to prove yourself at the end of the day. And, um, you know, I wasn't able to do that first year, but I knew I went through the process and I knew what to expect the second time around. So that's when I really told myself that I have to step up and, you know, make, play, make more plays, make a play every day. And, you know, that's the thing. If you can make a play in this league every day and show consistency, that's all it takes. And if you're a baller, they're going to find you. And, you know, I'm here. You know, they know, I, they know I can ball. They know I can go out and just give great effort every day. And, uh, you know, that's the, that's the key. That's the formula to being in the NFL, just giving great effort, competing every day and making plays. Ball State, of course, still runs deep in Sneed's blood. He is still second all time in receiving yardage for the Cardinals for now. Jordan Williams is bearing down on Sneed's mark and still keeping in touch with the guy he's chasing on a fairly regular basis. A couple guys I talk to, you know, Aaron Taylor, Sean Wiggins, you know, a lot of those guys that look up to me, you know, I just try to be a light for them and just show them that, you know, there's, there's something after Ball State, but you got to keep fighting. You know, each and every week is a new week. You just got to keep going. And, uh, you know, those guys are fighters. You know, they're going to fight to the end. So I'm proud of those guys for what they've done so far, and I can't wait to see what they do here on up. I grew up Ball State. I became a better man, better player, and uh, I appreciated everything that you know, the people that gave me there, and they, all the love and support they still give me. You know, I really love that, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to represent the best I can. You know, Cardinal Nation, we're here, and uh, you know, we, we're not going anywhere. Willie's day on Sunday: three catches for 24 yards. It gives him, as a rookie, just a hair under 500 receiving yards total. Of course, he came into Sunday, one of the top 20 pass catchers in the NFL. Sneed Saints are back home next Sunday. They'll take on the Giants. But here from Lucas Oil Stadium, where his Saints were victorious over the Colts 27-21, I'm Joel Godet for Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com.